Hey everyone, so Adobe just released the latest updates to Creative Cloud 2018 and Premiere Pro has a ton of new features. One of the main new tools that they introduce is this new color match feature. You can find it in the Lumetri color panel and it essentially allows you to view two different shots and apply a color match between those shots with the single click of a button. So let me show you step by step how you can use these new tools. So to test out these new tools, I went out and I shot two separate shots, kind of the same subject matter, just at different color temperatures here. So I would get a different color. Here I was shooting at 4500K and here I was shooting at 5600K. So you can see this one is a bit warmer than the 4500. So let's see what we can do to match the color of these shots. The first step will be to open up the all new comparison view. Now there's a few different ways to do this. If you open up the Lumetri color panel, you'll notice that the color wheels section has changed to color wheels and match. And this is where all the new tools are located. So I'm gonna open this up. You can see right away there's a few new features here. We have comparison view, apply match, and face detection. So I can open up comparison view here, or there's a button in the program monitor, or I can open up the settings here and select comparison view. So there's a few different ways you can go about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select comparison view. Okay, so now our program monitor is set up in comparison view. So let's see the details of what we got going on here. So we're seeing two different things here. To the left, you can see it says it right here. This is our reference. This is showing us a specific area on the timeline where we want our reference to be. So we can change this with our slider here, but we want to have our 5600K clip as a reference. So I can kind of scroll it over here. I know this is my 5600, or I could just jump by edit points here. So we know that's right down here. That's our first clip. If I jump to the next one, now we're right here. So to change the current location, that is showing us simply where our playhead is over. So I'm gonna keep that over our 4500K clip because this is the clip we want to edit to match our reference, which is over here. Now, if you look down here, there's a couple of different ways we can view. Right now it's set to side by side. I can switch to vertical split, which gives us this little split. We can move this around, very, very cool. Or I can switch to horizontal split, move it this way but I'll switch it back to side by side. Now, this is a little bit confusing because we're looking at our reference here and it's kind of backwards from our timeline. So we see the 5600K clip is over here on the right. This is our reference and this is the clip we want to edit. So I want that to match up here in the program monitor. If you look over here, there's a little button that says swap sides and I can click on this and now that's a little bit better layout. Now I wasn't kidding when I said before that applying this match is as simple as clicking a single button. Over here we have the apply match button now before I do this, if I look over here, I want to make sure that I have face detection checked because this is going to adjust for skin tones, which is obviously of utmost importance here for this color match. Now I'm going to go over here and select apply match. Now watch what happens in our program monitor. It's going to apply that match. And now I can see that reflected over here in the color wheels information. So now what's specifically going on here is when I click apply match, it is intelligently capturing the color and light values from the reference image and applying those as editable color adjustments to the current shot. So I wanna take a closer look at the results here. To do that, I'm gonna full screen my program monitor. Now this is looking pretty good just with the naked eye here. This is looking much better than before, much, much better. This is passable for my, for my purposes now, but I wanna take a closer look. I'm gonna to go to vertical split. And now you can see it's not completely perfect, but with the click of a button, that is pretty amazing results. And now I could use this, if I wanna do a really refined color grade, I can go in and use this as my starting point and further adjust with my color wheels here. To really take a look at the difference, I'm gonna to toggle this effect on and off and see there's the before and there's the after. Before, after. Let's take an even closer look inside of our Lumetri scopes here. I'm gonna open up the vector scope and then I'm gonna turn comparison view off and then I'm gonna to toggle this and keep an eye on that vector scope. And you can see that it shifted quite a bit. Here's the before, here's the after, and now I'm gonna move my playhead to see where the location of our reference is. So here's the reference. So now if we toggle this effect back off and then go to the reference, we can see that that shifted quite a bit to match that. So there you have it. There's the new shot comparison with color matching tools in the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. What do you think? Do you like this new feature? Do you like these tools? Are you going to be using these tools? I certainly will be using them. So if you liked the video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and share this video. And be sure to go download these latest updates of Adobe Premiere Pro. I have some other tutorials on this new release, so be sure to check those out here. 